Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are up here in uh, McLemoresville, Tennessee, at the McLemoresville Cemetery, and we're here to visit the grave of Dixie Carter. If you don't know who she is, she's um, been on a, quite a few good television shows back in the day. So we're here to visit the grave, pay respects, do all those things. So let me get the ad out of the way and say if this is your first time here, hey, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all those things. It helps, like, put the video out into the world, like when you comment and like and all. That's the only reason I ask. That way it projects us further. And if you're, this isn't your first time, sorry, but if this isn't your first time, um, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's, it's not the biggest cemetery in the world, so we're going to have to do some B-roll, and I'm just going to talk, and, you know, we'll get through it, but then we'll see Ms. Carter's grave. All right, so let's go yellow jackets and all the fun stuff. All right, so Dixie Virginia Carter was born May the 25th of 1939 here in McLemoresville, Tennessee. Carter spent many of her early years in Memphis, and she attended the University of Memphis in 1959, Carter competed in the Miss Tennessee pageant where she placed first runner-up to Mickey Whalen. Carter won Miss Volunteer Beauty pageant at the University of Tennessee, though, that same year. So in 1960, Carter made her professional stage debut in a Memphis production of Carousel, co-starring George Hearn, who she would go on to marry 17 years later. She moved to New York City in 63 and got a part in a production of Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale. In 1967, she began an eight-year hiatus from acting to focus on raising her two daughters. She returned to acting in 74 when she fill, filled in for actress Nancy Pinkerton as Dorian Kramer on One Life to Live while Pinkerton was on maternity leave. Carter's appearance in uh, Filthy Rich paved the way for her most notable role, that of sharp-tongued liberal interior designer Julia Sugarbaker, right? That's how I feel like you should say that, in the 86-93 to 93 television program Designing Women. After Designing Women in 97, she acted in a play called Master Class, and then from 99 to 2002, she portrayed Randy King on the legal drama Family Law, and in 2004, she made a guest appearance on Law & Order, a special victims unit, playing a defense attorney. In 2006 and 2007, she found a resurgence in fame with a new generation of fans portraying Gloria Hodge, Bree Vanderkamp's disturbed and skimming mother-in-law on Desperate Housewives. Her first and only Emmy Awards nomination was for the 59th annual under the category of Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Series, for said character, Gloria Hodge. So I always forget to do this at the beginning as we make our way towards the grave now. Um, what's your favorite moment, her favorite character, favorite episode that she was in? Like what did, uh, what was her, what was your favorite thing that she portrayed or like that kind of like the role, that character role of, uh, you know, like some of her quirkiness that you enjoyed. So we're almost there. It's a bit of a, a walk up this hill. I don't know if you noticed in the intro, I may have been a little out of breath because uh, I'm not so skinny anymore. That tends to happen sometimes, doesn't it? So Carter passed away on April the 10th of 2010 in Houston, Texas. Her husband said her death was caused by complications of endometrial cancer. God, it took me a minute to get that out in the car diagnosed earlier in 2010 so it seems like it was just I guess they found it and it was too late in 2012 a study on that cancer showed that uh, 320,000 women had it and or got it and 76,000 women passed away from it it's the most the third most common cause of death in cancer which only affect women behind ovarian and cervical so it's a it's a pretty big one isn't it all right so I'll here sorry I'm just talking about cancer instead of showing you the grave. So Dixie, Virginia Carter, there you go. The Lord is my strength and my song. And it's a very beautiful, 
you can see her says the Holbrook. And I know, I just noticed this. She passed away on April 10th, right? And no joke, I am here on the 12th filming this. I don't know when this will come out. Probably the Monday after. But, yeah, it's almost her... We just missed, I guess, her death anniversary. And there's a lot of older tombstones here and stuff. I'm going to try to get some of that in the B-roll for you guys to see. But overall, it's a quaint, there's a, a really neat church over there. I'm going to try to stop and get some B-roll of that and put in now as I'm talking about it. So yeah, there's uh, Dixie Virginia Carter's grave right there. How cool, right? Hey, thanks for watching this episode. It seemed a little, I don't know. I feel like that. I'm going to give this one a B plus. Just something about it. Uh, it I, I feel like I get hamstrung with small cemeteries. It's hard for me to, especially with her having a long, successful, I say long career. But, you know, like it wasn't just like one paragraph of stuff to talk about. So I kind of run out of places to walk. And then it gets even shorter when you have like yellow jackets that want to bite you. So it kind of throws me off my game a little bit. I was prepared. I had looked it up on Google Maps, but I just, I don't know. It, uh, it, I don't know. It was different today. So I'm going to go B+. Plus. Uh, there's a lot of Carters in this cemetery, too. Like, you see those right over there? So, yeah, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. The, the sun angle is not great today, so I'm probably in the shade quite a bit as I'm talking about this. But these yellow jackets, man. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys are great. Like, we just crossed 40,000 subs not too long ago. And it's you guys. Like, we get to, I say we as in you and I, us as a collective, we get to go do this together because of you. Like, yeah, I'm the one that goes and does it for us, but it's you guys that, you know, you watch it and that it really helps get me motivated to go do these things so thank you i really do appreciate it i love what we get to do together it's fun uh it's about a four hour drive here not that big a deal it's nice you don't really it doesn't really bother me to drive like that when i'm going to do something i enjoy to bring to some people that probably won't ever get to come here so it is it is cool so thanks again and uh hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe all that stuff and you know what you never know what you're going to find on the back roads. I'll see you guys next time.